binge pipe. We went with our first idea. I'm Cookie Masterson, and this is You Don't Know Jack, the game where high culture and pop culture collide. Yeah, it's a fun slogan. We don't uh, say it much anymore. So, there you go. I love playing games by myself. It reminds me that we are born alone and we die alone. Hey, have fun! All right, let's move. Time for question one. Let's start with Clicklet. If Albert Camus had used clickbait to write The Stranger, what would have been his first line? 11 things everyone called Ishmael knows to be true, the 13 most pleasurable parts of burning, mother died today and the clapback was insane, or exterminators hate him, this guy woke up transformed into a monstrous vermin. So what'd you pick? Keep your chin up. No, no, I'll get it. Mother died today is the first line from Camus' The Stranger. If you click on existentialist clickbait, nothing happens because life is meaningless. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Behold, you're a tool. Which four tools hang on that little iron thingy next to a fireplace? Shovel, broom, saw, tongs, poker, saw, hook, tongs, poker, saw, broom, hook, or poker, shovel, broom, tongs. I love this part. Huh? Here's the right one. Yep, these are the main four that hang on that thing. Now, uh, my granddad used to say a proper fire must be poked, shoveled, broomed, and tonged. Why don't we do it with three? Here's one I like to call K for country and D for dis or dat. I'm going to list off seven things, and for each I want you to tell me if it's the name of a Korean pop music group, or a micronation. You know, little groups that claim they're a country, but no one else thinks they are. Yeah, one of those. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between K-pop or a micronation. Okay, let's do it. Boys Republic. Viper. Goat Island and Three Sisters. Urban Zacapa. Hey, let's hear it for lucky guesses. Moving right along. I don't need you anymore. It's time for... Can we say ass? Well, I guess we can say ass. Who's a real ass face? Nick Bottom from A Midsummer Night's Dream, Prospero from The Tempest, Yorick from Hamlet, or Iago from Othello? Mm. 
Okay, what'd you pick? In A Midsummer Night's Dream, Nick Bottom has his head magically transformed into that of a donkey, a.k.a. an ass. And how'd the audience fare? Looks like a good chunk of this audience is just jabbing buttons at random. That means I'm dealing out bonus cash for that right answer. We'll see if your luck holds out. This one's called The Legend of Zelda's Epidural. Say there were a video game in which the player's goal was to successfully go through labor. What instructions would pop up on the third stage of the game? Press B to push the baby's head out, repeatedly tap X to dilate the cervix, hold down the right shoulder button to expel the placenta, or press A and B together to cut the umbilical cord. And how do we do? The placenta is expelled during the third stage of labor. Also, this game would cost $37,000. Round one is dead to me. Round one proved you have the heart of a champion, but round two will challenge the rest of your body parts. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. Okay, buckle in. Six trombones is not a parade. Up next. I don't trust facts. I trust my gut. Hold on. As a trivia host, I should have known that mayonnaise was questionable. My lunch is disagreeing with me, and it's omitting a lot of viable counter-arguments, which means it's using which fallacious persuasion technique? Ad hominem attack, moving the goalposts, cart stacking, or fallacy fallacy. Hope you like what you picked. Oh, hindsight. This answer feels lonely. Card stacking is making one side look a lot stronger by ignoring the viable arguments of the opposing view. Okay, we've reached a compromise. But you really don't want to know what I gave up to get there. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Why not try? Binge pipe gives back. Oh, okay, it's one of those questions. Binge pipe recommends. Because you enjoyed Boss Baby and Baby Driver, we think you would enjoy photographs by this artist Ansel Adams, Anne Geddes, Annie Leibovitz, or Andy Warhol. Let's see how that shook out. I still believe in you. Remember this moment. Anne Geddes is a photographer famous for taking pictures of babies. Aw, of course I could be a great photographer too if I kept coming across pumpkins full of toddlers. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Here's one for you. Everyone in Hollywood is connected. And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a Snickers collection bed stone. Get those typing fingers ready because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, get ready. Check out this gibberish phrase and figure out what everyday expression it rhymes with. Big Kumail Shonda bled. And don't let that punctuation fool you. You got that right. Exactly right. thing 
exactly where you're supposed to. Let's see how you did. I don't know what this is, but it's not the right answer. <laughs> you're gonna kick yourself. Oh, and by the way, I saw what you typed, okay? But frankly, I'm over it. Look, I've been doing this for 20 years, so if you... Wait. No, that can't be right, not 20 years. I still look so young in my headshot. Anyway, if you want an Easter egg so bad, look at your device. Now, on with the game. Take a good look at... Dating in Westeros. Suppose Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones wanted to date someone who wasn't her brother. Because it gives her the power of first action, what dating site would she prefer? Okay, Cupid, Tinder, Bumble, or eHarmony? Okay, let's take a look. Bumble is a unique dating site because all first moves must be initiated by females. Later, you can both decide if you're looking for a quick hookup or a tragic wedding. Oh, here's a good one. One plus one equals shoe. Which shoe brand's logo closely resembles the square root symbol? Nike, Adidas, Converse, or Vans? Let's see how that shook out. The V in the Vans logo looks very similar to the square root symbol. But here's something that'll really blow your mind. The O in the Reebok logo looks like a zero. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. Oh, was I talking? Silly me. Here's your clue. Works every time. Let's see how frequently you can find a right answer. Good luck. <laughs>
drink it in. Hey, just because losing was impossible doesn't mean you didn't win. It's probably for the best that no one else was here because... 